Hey guys, quick update here. Um, decided to feed the aquarium. Let's see if we can get a good shot of the angel. Ah, there we go. I got some uh, good, good lighting here. You can kind of see the rusty orange in his eyes. I won't get too close because he gets kind of freaked out a little bit. I decided to uh, feed him with some uh, frozen fare, which has wedged itself in over there. Uh, the other fish are getting it. That's why I like this quote-unquote shark cage, because they can see everybody, they can't get to anybody, and I can control any aggression. I usually do this, uh, if you're following my videos, for about a week. So, let's see, today is Saturday, so June 3rd, I believe, is next Saturday. I'll uh, go ahead and release the hound. One hound is already released. Elvis, say hi. Okay. So... Everybody else is out and about. Cream Angel, big boys over here. Uh, you can see his spots are breaking up now that the light's going on. He's come over. Yeah, there we go. There's a good shot of his tail. When the lights are on, he does like to come out and kind of hang out. I see the uh, Coral Beauty is kind of cruising around. Uh, Ebly Eyes, uh, way too shy for that. I just saw him go under the rocks, kind of down in there, but he usually does not come out during the day. It's, it's going to be a rare occasion. Thank God these dog toys are only $5.99. He just absolutely destroys them. There's the Ebly Eye. I think the food encouraged him to come out. I was kind of just kind of chilling out over there, but this kind of showcased how much the mushrooms are starting to open up. I, I don't know if you can see it. I got little tiny babies uh, sitting underneath of the main, and then that big one's starting to expand out. Oh, look at that! To the left of that recordia, you can see kind of like a little, little greenness right there. That looks like another baby of that recordia, but that recordia doesn't have any green except around the center of the mouth, so I don't know where that came from. Um, Cinellary over there is doing its thing. The uh, Pally Grandice, I've made the mistake of leaving those on that disc way too long, and now they've attached themselves to my um, <laughs> my frag rack. <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, That kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. This um, Kenya tree, green Kenya tree, it looks like it's attaching itself both to the bottom of the rock and that, so I'm hoping it'll split and then clone itself off and kind of go nuts. So everything else is doing good. Um, well, we'll showcase that, that angel for a little bit more since that's kind of the main focus. Um, I don't know if you're following my thread on Reef to Reef, but it's uh, multiple dwarf angels in one tank. Um, I'll try and see if I can leave a link below. And we're just kind of discussing. We've got almost 400 replies so far over the course of several years. We're just kind of going back and forth about the validity of multiple angels in one aquarium. Obviously, I have a much larger aquarium. Kind of take a step back. And this is a 220. I know there's a gentleman uh, who's my inspiration down in Australia who has an 8-foot um, aquarium. I believe his is like a 270 or something like that, maybe around a 300. If he's reading, if he's watching this or reads the thread, he'll know who he is. But he said that the biggest thing was more angels, the better, you know, lots, lots more angels. I think he said he had 30 fish or something like that in the aquarium. Um, also everything goes into quarantine before it goes in the main display. Another one of my things I found out needs to happen. Um, just kind of making sure that we never have that uh, velvet crash ever again. So I'm um, thoroughly excited about the uh, about what's going to go on uh, in the future. Uh, hopefully, Golden Angel or Flag Fin, um, a Nox would be nice, or a False Lemon Peel. We're looking at scribbled rabbits to kind of combat that all that bubble algae. I don't want to talk about that. Um, also, if you guys see, I do have uh, some cyanobacteria issues, um, not due to flow, but I feel, uh, realize that I have a lot of rock in here. It's like a dry rock that um, just leach silicates in there. My protein skimmer is just cleaning stuff out of the aquarium on a constant basis. It only, uh, it only lays on just kind of 
the areas of the rock that will leach it out. So I, I, it, it doesn't stay on the rocks that I, I know are a problem. So I, I've been in the hobby for 25 years, and I old school method was uh, live rock, and I never had issues with cyanobacteria. I did the dry rock method, and I've never had... Um, never had but headaches since so little piece of advice but it's a five minute video trying to get away from the 10 minute long bullshit sessions so have a good weekend